Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and as usual, the liberals, kooky liberals, just keep getting kookier. Earth Day is too white and out of touch with reality, according to New Republic, by Emily Atkin. This Saturday, which was uh, 22nd, it's already passed when I'm doing this video, on Earth Day, children will paint their faces at many carnivals, and teenagers will pick up trash in public parks. Zoos and museums will throw parties for the planet, complete with composting, composting workshops. Businesses will convene swap shops where people can exchange old clothes and all the miscellany they don't want anymore. Bars will hold green conscious tap takeovers and donate proceeds to tree planting, or in some cases, not donate anything at all. And countless Americans will mark the day by going for a long run or practicing yoga outdoors if they don't already do that every weekend. And this is going to help the uh, ecology how? Uh, the environment. How does that help the environment? Meanwhile, in North Dakota, standing rock. Two tribal brace for the flow of oil alongside their sacred land, thanks to the completion of the Dakota Access Pipeline. People of Flint, Michigan will continue to drink tap water through a filter because tens of thousands of city pipes are tainted with lead. Uh, for a disproportionate number of low income minority communities across America, Earth Day will be just another day of living downwind of fossil fuel plants, which Donald Trump has promised to further deregulate. Good. So why is Earth Day so benign and toothless when an immediate threat to the planet, particularly to its most vulnerable populations, are so severe? Anthony Roger Wright's answer is simple. Earth Day is mainly a white person thing. Oh, brother. Not the sharpest tool in the box. Organizing Director at Environmental Action, Rogers Wright is a rising star for his work highlighting climate change, change's impact on marginalized community. There is no global warming, it's BS. But Earth Day is never really on its radar. I mean, I might take my 19 month old to the park or something, but it's sort of like Black History Month. It's fine. Are we just going to forget about the plight of African Americans after February? For those who live with environmental problems every day, mostly low income, minority, and indigenous populations in the American around the world, every day is Earth Day. You mean every day they're trying to take away your car, your heat, your, uh. trying to cram you into an agenda 21 apartments and 5x5. Five otherwise known as, uh, jail cells. Different type of jail. Well, there are programs this Saturday for vulnerable communities. They're just not getting an equitable level of transmission, Rogers Wright said. And that's been the story for many years in the environmental so-called movement. So, uh, Mr. Rogers Wright, sir, what do you want? How do you intend to fix this? You going to exclude white people from Earth Day? Is that going to make things better? Rogers Wright derides the so called movement, movement, he says, because the nation's leading environmental groups too often neglect environmental justice policies. It means transfer of wealth. Earth Day is a manifestation of that disconnect and an event that, like much of the environmental world, focuses too much on making white people feel good about recycling and driving. It's actually Prius, as they misspelled it, than helping those suffering from environmental injustice. Oh boy, that guy is a real freaking nutcase. It's turned out into a device for mostly white male-led 
nonprofit industrial complex to raise money for causes they don't have a plan for, he said, citing the amorphous fight against climate change and general, I mean global warming, and general environmental degradation. President of one such leading environmental group agrees right now we might take a styrofoam cup and paint a planet on it with a paint that might be tanned with lead, so they're mayor the Sierra Club's first black president. Sierra Club is a wacko nutcase leftist organization. We need to make people uncomfortable to shatter their convenience. Oh, uh, you really? Just how do you intend to do that? I can read the whole thing. So the kooks are feeding on themselves. Now, nobody wants dirty water or anything like that. But here you have the kooks are injecting racism and uh, things like that into this Earth Day thing, which is supposed to be about the planet. These are leftist nutcases. They're not. They're not. This is not about the planet. This is about spreading socialism slash communism over the planet. That's what this is about. It actually has little to do with the planet. They're trying to socially engineer people into accepting. Cultural, cultural Marxism, and if they accept cultural Marxism, then they'll accept uh, fiscal Marxism, and then you have a Marxist society where everybody's supposed to be happy, except that in places where uh, they think just like these people, the people are starving. North Korea, Venezuela. Look at Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders whole country of uh, Venezuela politicians sink just like Bernie Sanders and look what, what's happening. They're eating flamingos, zoo animals, anything they can to su survive. There you have it. Earth Day is too white. Unbelievable. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.